What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about a shot that's going to help you throughout the bag that has helped Victor Hovland become a very dangerous player on the PGA Tour. So let's get into it. What's going on everybody? Scott Oden coming at you. Today we're going to go over this shot that Victor Hovland has learned and it's going to help every player get better not only at their longer game but also at their short game which is also a very important part of this before we do that make sure you check out our art of impact crash course a lot of the things that we see from victor hovland and how he strikes the ball so well are going to be covered in that course it's 100 percent free don't miss out on it it's just down in the description below all right so we're talking about victor hovland here and i promise you there's going to be a long game component to this so stick with me as we go through this we're going to work on recreating this short game shot that he worked on hitting, okay? And again, I'll talk to you about why this is important in the long game as we go through. So the shot by the numbers that Victor Hovland has worked on hitting is he tries to hit about a 10-yard carry shot. He will have 5,000 RPMs of spin, and his launch will come out below 30 degrees. So it's an aggressive shot. Now, how is he going to do that? Well, the first thing is you got to understand what creates spin, what creates low launch, things like that. So the first thing is he works on his angle of attack. His angle of attack is down about 10 degrees when he hits this shot, which is, it sounds like a lot. A lot of times when we're talking short game, especially nowadays, you hear people talking like, hey, I need to hit it and I need to be shallow through the hit. So like on that shot right there, 4.1 down, I did generate a nice little bit of spin, 45.90, but I hit it a little harder, and also I ended up launching it a little bit higher. Now, for somebody like Victor, this was hard to do on a consistent basis, okay? And again, I think it kind of goes against what his whole game is about. So I think a lot of people could benefit from trying what he does. He hits more down on it. So how would we hit more down on it? Well, the first thing we can do is we can move the ball back in our stance. I can also put my weight forward. So if you're not familiar with putting your weight forward, there's a great training aid. Really will help with this. It's called the chipping plate from Y Golf you will be able to see how you need to get your weight forward in a chip, okay? Now, when we do this, if I just move that ball back already, if I hit the shot, I should see my angle of attack go down. I'm gonna hit one more, see if we get it. You're not gonna get it every single time on a super short shot. Okay, there we go. Negative 11 down. All right, I already got that one down to negative 11. And you can see my spin was 49.02, 49.02 on that one. Now I launched it at 32 and a half degrees, so a little higher, okay, than we would want. Now I will say this too, if you're trying this out, big component to getting spin is going to be equipment. Brand new golf ball, brand new wedge, that is probably what Victor Hovland has, okay? And what most tour players have is they have new wedges. That will help that ball come off lower, all right? That will also help that ball spin more. So I actually think I'd be getting well above 5,000 with a shot like that. And then if I brought my distance down, then I can just work on, let's see if we can go no I caught a little turf there so let's see what happens when I catch turf first so my carry wasn't bad I don't think that shot would be very good off grass but my angle of attack was only seven down and my launch went up again probably because I just got turf in the way and my spin dropped off the planet 2800 so this is a great thing to work on can I get the ball back get my weight forward and then what I'm working on is can I just drop that club down on the ball. So it's gonna feel like I'm just hammering down a little bit on the golf ball, okay? And you can see that one I caught a lot more cleanly, about 10 down. There was the launch at 28 degrees and the spin at 47.55 for, that one went 14 and a half yards in the air, okay? So that's a shot that you can work on and it's nice because you are going to catch a lot of ball on the ground. You might end up taking a little bit of a divot on your short shots. That's okay. 
as long as you're catching the ball first, I think you're going to be in a good shape. And by the way, this is a 60 degree wedge that I'm using. Okay. So I said, there's going to be a long game component to this. Why would this help you work on your long game? So the biggest thing that I see when I work with people is they'll send me their swings and they send me their numbers and we'll say that's a seven iron. Okay. And they'll send it to me. And the numbers we see are, you know, angle of attack around zero or positive even, okay? We'll see launches that get very, very high, like in the 30s on a seven iron, okay? Those aren't numbers that are going to work very well to hit it farther. They're also not numbers that are gonna work well for consistency. So what can we take away from trying to hit this more lower, higher spinning short game shot? Well, what we're learning is how to make a downward strike. We're also learning how to make this golf club work as a hammer, okay? What most people think of when I talk to people in lessons, the questions, I always ask two questions, no matter who you are, the first time I see you, you can be playing for 30 years, it doesn't matter. What I'll ask is, one, should you hit the ground? With, we're not talking about driver, we're talking about anytime the ball is on the ground. Should you hit the ground? People will kinda, you know, yeah, I think so but you should be really sure that yes, you should hit the ground. And two, what do you hit first, the ball or the ground? And that's the one where most people are gonna say ground. Even again, they've played for a long time. They say, I'm gonna hit the ground. And that's because they think of the golf club as a shovel. I'm coming in and I'm gonna get into the ground and shovel underneath it and send the ball up. But in reality, the golf club is more like a hammer. When I go to hit it, I'm taking this club and I'm hammering the club head down in the ball. Okay, so that's where it gets really helpful to understand how you move the club with your hands and arms because I'm basically trying to, if we imagined on the back of the ball there was a nail, I'm trying to drive that nail further into the golf ball. Okay, so when we do this, when we work on this shot, you are learning how if the ball's way back and the weight's forward, how to do that, how to get the club to go down and get the ball to go in the air. Now, when I take a seven iron, I'm not gonna want 10 degrees down, okay? I want maybe like three or four degrees down, okay? But what'll end up happening is I take a different setup. The ball's gonna be more forward. I like to play it off the left chest, right? From there, I'm gonna be making this big turn on the way back. Then I'm gonna have to shift forward, and while I'm shifting forward, that shift forward, lets me get to the ball and I can see how I can drive that club down into the golf ball. I can make that really solid ball first contact, get the metal on the ball, and that is going to be really critical. Again, I think that is such an overlooked skill that people just assume will happen. They assume if I make a golf swing that the magic of comp contact, the magic of impact is just going to happen and it's just not true. The way that your brain works, it is a taskmaster. You have to give it the right task. This is how I'm trying to hit the golf ball, okay? If you do that, it will start moving a lot of pieces for you in a much better way. I'm not saying it's gonna make everything perfect, but everything gets a lot closer, and then you can fine tune with any type of swing work, training aids, whatever you want as you go. So working on this shot, not only is it gonna help your scores because you should work on your short game a lot anyway, but it will help you understand how we are getting the club to work into the ball. And that's going to be really critical throughout the entire bag. Again, the only one that would be a little different is the driver because it's teed up, but you're gonna be working on getting that club to make really, really good contact. Okay, so again, short game shot. Try it out. I used a 60 degree. You can get up into those 5,000s and spin. That would be great. Again, if you have a really old wedge, it might be a little tougher, but something to try. Okay, see how low you can go and how much spin you can get on around a 10 yard carry shot. Also, again, remember that angle of attack is going to be about 10 down. That's something that Victor's working on. So I would try it out if I were you and see what you can get out of it, all right? If you have questions about it, let us know in the comments. And if you get success, let us know what your best effort is. That would be really cool to see what people can generate 
from a standpoint so people can go try this stuff on their own with their numbers. That's one of the best parts about having your launch monitor, okay, is, hey, I can mess around and see what I can do, all right? If you're not a subscriber already, click that subscribe button. And as always, thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.